Okay, uh, breakout room one, can you explain what you guys did with your deposit? I know it's very simple. You guys just did like three lines, but yeah, maybe like mind explaining it a bit. Anyone from room one? Calling the balance is saying at the amount. Okay, it's a you specify and then after that, then you just return the amount. It doesn't return anything about that. Yeah. Uh, okay, okay. Thanks, David. It's very simple. Uh, it uh, has itself amount and basically it adds the amount to itself. Um, okay. For deposit, do you really do you need to? Okay, for deposit, right, you don't really have to have the return statement. This is not compulsory. Okay, so uh, yeah, you can just do this and it's going to be perfectly fine. Sometimes, it, uh, because like uh, this method, right, the purpose is actually to change the value of the attribute of the bank account. So usually, fun, fun, there are two types of functions, three types of functions are in OP. First is... Um, this show balance uh, and this is the type where you kind of want to get like what is the value of the attributes in the op like what is the attributes first is get second is change is usually deposit la. for example deposit so like uh, when we want to change the value of an attribute inside a class or an object we usually don't have a return statement and I forgot what's the last one. There's three types of record, but mostly that uh, read and write. So the uh, functions can be uh, the functions in or methods in a class can be uh, uh, separated into two different types. Uh, the read type meaning just see the characteristics and etc. Read use for example show balance and the write type meaning that you modify or you edit or you add something after the bank account. Okay, thanks, uh, Group One. Uh, group two, uh, I think I'm gonna ask. Uh, um, okay, group two, uh, can you explain what you guys did with uh, withdraw? Uh, yeah, what did you guys did to do this? Anyone in group two? Or oh, someone just left. That's weird. Yeah, uh, Ryan, would you like to explain? <laughs> sorry, uh, I need... Yeah, sure, no problem. Yeah, sorry, uh, so, you like this. Please. It's okay. So uh I think uh for the withdrawal uh withdrawal function, then um if the name that is being input uh into the function is uh is not the name uh in the instance then um you you would say that it's not authorized and then um if the balance is uh less than the amount you're trying to withdraw then um you say that you have not enough money then um else um if everything is okay then you will just deduct the amount from the balance and return the amount that you have withdrawn right, thanks ryan uh very simple, right? Uh, any, okay. I mean, in this case, it's uh, a bit different from the previous one. The previous one is uh, creating a new function, while the second one is actually we're editing the method that we have defined. Just like uh, we kind of want to change the withdrawal function here. So, like, we don't create a new method, we just edit what has been there. All right. Thanks a lot, Ryan. Uh, let's go to the third one uh, from the third room. Uh, Anyone from room number three want to explain about um, number three? Hello. Hey, hello. Yeah. Uh, so for ours, it's just uh, 
Yeah, you take the self ba the balance, then you just multiply by the interest. Then one plus interest because uh is one point like for example, if the interest is 0 0.04, then it's 1.04 instead of zero point uh, instead of point four uh, zero four, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Uh, okay, okay, thanks. Uh any reason why you actually included the interest in the one year has passed method? Uh, no, but I think if you don't I uh, don't include it, you just have to one plus self dot interest. I think. Right. Okay. Because actually, that's the requirement of the question. Um, the requirement of the question does not require, does not have any input parameters. Also, we we do this in is it? Correct. Yes, and basically we can delete the in interest inside the parameters, so something, mm. something like that. Yes. All right. Uh, uh, so, uh, sorry, who was that? Uh, so Aaron, so the, for the one year has passed, we, by putting self, I mean, there's no input, right? There's no mm -hmm. input parameter. So right. for the self dot balance, you multiply by the uh, one time. Eh? One plus self dot interest, so it will take the the parameter from the initiation, right? Correct. Ah, okay. Thank you. All right. Uh, okay. For the rest of you, do you have any other questions, like aside from group group three? I mean, if you do did it to get uh, if you did it in your room, the uh, are there any questions are basically? Okay, no questions. Uh, all right. Uh, good job. Oh, so basically, I have questions. Hmm? Yes. Oh, uh, you see the group three, group three, the uh, my normal account. No, no, no. Uh, no. Actually, it's group two's my normal account. Which one? Uh, the. For the minimal account. Okay, we haven't touched that yet. Okay. Cause the super the super I don't know how to use. Okay, it's okay, okay. It's okay, it's okay. Uh we haven't touched that yet, but okay. it's okay. Um okay, actually it's actually the next question. It's actually a uh, task four. So I know task four is maybe slightly more difficult, so uh, but I think uh, the room four can do this. Okay? okay, so room four, would you like to take the honor to explain about uh, your answer for task four? Uh, for hi, Aaron, can you hear me? Yep, yeah, so for task four, uh, for task four is the minimal account, right? So minimum account got two uh, got two requirements. One is uh one is let me see the the, the double sheet. Yeah. One is that if your account is less than one thousand, then twenty dollars will be de deducted. And then if after the de deduction, then your balance is less than zero, then we set to zero. Right. Yeah. So uh in that case, in that case. Uh oh wait I think there was uh, there's some error in 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 my code yeah but basically the idea is the idea is we take super because um the the basic attributes of um of the bank account can be used in a uh, minimum account and then but we change the um the the method one year has passed so um the first line is the same but if the balance is less than it's less than one thousand. Then after that, we take, we take um the the balance my uh, the balance minus twenty dollars, and then if after if after this um if after this deduction, the balance is less than zero. Then after that, we just set it as zero. Yeah, but this part I think we should use the the balance um the initial balance instead of um that including including interest yeah i didn't right. write the last Correct. part only. yeah right. so mm. uh 
How would you go around like this way? Give me like this, right? Since self, uh, since this part is, this part is self balance equals balance, right? Wait, wait, my my computer is lagging. So basically, you just need to shift around the lines. Yeah. I think you shift line 29 down to the end. Line 29 down to the end. Wait. Just now I... Line, line, wait. Line 29 down where? Uh, the to the end. Because uh, you're supposed to deduct first, then you calculate the interest. Oh, yeah. Okay, correct. That's fine. Right. Like this? Wait, no. Inside, inside the function. Yeah, then you delete the 29. Oh, yeah, okay, 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 okay. So. Uh, I think the indent for 31 and 32 adjust back. Okay, wait, no. This is this should be like this one, right? Because you need to check your balance. If if your initial balance is less than one thousand, then okay, you you minus twenty from the initial balance. Then if this balance is less than zero, then you equate to zero after the twenty dollars deduction. So it should be within the 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 indentation. Am I right? Um, doesn't matter actually whether it's with oh. or without. It doesn't matter actually. Oh, okay. Because basically, at the end of the day, if it's oh, less than yeah. zero. Okay. Okay. Makes sense. Yeah. Thanks. Mm. It's okay. Okay. Yeah. All so right. This is my solution. Now this is our solution. Mm. Yeah. I'm just. Damn it. So I think I'm. I'm trying to auto format this. Yes, it's a bit messy. Yeah, let, then uh, yeah, let me just auto format this. Yeah, format this first. This is already like uh, we're using like four four uh four spaces for indentation. Okay. So let's try. Oh, it works. Oh yeah. Um. You you have a problem earlier. Oh yeah. Like I don't understand why it said an underscore. If you wanna change uh, it first. Wait uh, Yeah 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 yeah. Let me change it. It's just. Yeah. Let's see. Missing one positional, all right. Uh, yeah, I forgot. This one is the old one. Uh, let's just remove this. Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, Am I with uh... I think I'll just remove this. John Wick's account. Hmm. Did we have with what? Sorry. Uh, sorry, the withdrawal is because uh, just now we added. Oh, we added yeah, yeah. Demand. Yeah. Yeah, I just, I think I'll just remove this uh, for now. Yeah, as in you, I, if you want to check the minimum account one, you can use 42 to 44. I'll just remove this. Okay, it should work already. All right, like, um, 
your balance is 20.8, uh, your balance is 0 0.832007, and then your balance is zero, so it works. Mm. Right, wonderful. Okay, um, so I think I see, uh, I think only room two did the uh, like further challenge. So uh, room two, perhaps you wanna try uh, explaining what you guys did with the further challenge. In fact, you guys, I think you guys did like transfer to and set up gyro, right? Oh, and joint account as well. If you wanna explain to the rest of the class, Uh, maybe like uh, Janssen or Bingson want to explain? Uh, sorry, Janssen, can you go? Because to be honest, like I, I don't think I coded any part of this. <laughs> I'll just, yeah. Oh. I was catching up with the slides. The the, uh, only, only the drawing account, right? Uh, maybe like start with uh transfer to first. Okay, this one I'm not sure though. Uh, Wait, who coded that part? Ah? I I don't know. I I only coded the the third the thirty and thirty one line. I don't know who. I did. <laughs> so who coded this part? I think the is instance I coded that part. Mostly is the is instance. The ace instance, I think it's me. Okay, uh, please explain. Okay, the ace instance is just to check whether the instance that they take in is an object of bank account. Uh. So if, if it is, then it'll um, transfer the money to that account. If it's not, then it won't do anything. Oh, so you're doing a check. La. Okay. Yeah, it's just a check. Okay, okay. All right. So um, I think everyone, this is a transfer to is a good example of objects interacting with each other. So like, for example, like this one is like trying to give money to another account. So like in this case, my wife account 500. In a way, uh, during exams, I don't think this line is necessary. Although this is a very good uh, coding practice to check whether the input is valid or not. Because I mean, for this question, we'll just assume that the input is valid, like that the instance will be a bank account. So in this case, I'm deducting self balance by a minus amount and the balance of the bank account that I'm sending is uh, going to be added by the amount. Okay. Um, this will be acceptable for CS 1010, but then when we actually move forward uh, to actually higher level mods, perhaps what's preferable is actually we do some sort of, um, we actually use the functions that we have uh, defined. So for example, self dot self dot withdraw we withdraw by the number of amount and then uh instance dot deposit amount okay uh there will be a question here i think uh, uh, what question? The withdrawal has the name restriction. Yeah, yeah. So indeed, like there are some weaknesses. So like for example, this one has a name now. So technically, you kind of need to access its attributes. So like if you if you even like this, right? You you write the wrong name, then you you will not withdraw anything, but you will still deposit. Why ah? Uh? Like I'm actually taking my own name, eh? Oh, wait. Self dot name. Okay. okay, okay. So the name will confirm be good. So in a way, this one like uh, look like, yes, withdraw using name is actually a good idea, but then you kind of need to think of other implementation as well, because other implementation, it can start to be impractical. For example, this. Okay, uh, next up, we have set up gyro. Uh, anyone did set up gyro? Hello, anyone set up did set, set up gyro? You can repeat the question. Anyone uh someone did someone do set up gyro? Uh yeah, I did I did set up gyro. Okay, okay. Can you yeah. help explain? 
Uh, yeah, so I think this one should be quite simple. Right? It's just uh, I add a new um, new line in the init method. Um, yeah, it's a self dot gyro equals zero, and after that um, define a new method called setup gyro, and then um, so uh, every time you run setup gyro um, then you will add that. Um, it will take an input amount and then that amount will be included into the um, the gyro and after that uh, every time you run the one year has passed uh, it, will, it will just deduct whatever you have in the gyro all right thanks ryan did that okay it was ryan right oh uh, yeah okay thanks sorry uh yeah i didn't see my screen um yeah i think this is like Question two is a good example where um, they tell you what to do, but then like, you know that uh, just like by doing this is not enough, you kind of need to also like do uh, modify the one year has passed, you kind of need to modify the init as well. And I think most, most uh, later on during exams, it will be more or less like this. Well, they give you instructions, but then the instructions kind of implicitly tell you to change other parts as well. Okay. And lastly, a uh, new class joint amount. Uh, what is joint? I think the new class is already pretty straightforward, where it does changes. Um, okay, I think uh, for this one, right? Uh, let's try. If you know, I, I think the count check. If I recall right, if you want to do like super dot in it right the parameters that you put in the super dot in it right must be precisely the same as your uh as your parent class so in this case if your parent class is like name balance interest you cannot do this like, like your super in it should also be like uh, uh your parent class should also be name balance interest so what you can do is that instead like you can uh I think what you can do is like uh, instead of doing this, what you can do is uh, we have name, name one, and then we can add two more self dot name like this. So in in this sense, like we'll be ignoring the original name we'll just ignore this and we'll just use this instead for our calculations or anything okay all right any questions regarding the regarding bank account i think uh, this is all uh, for bank account uh i think you guys all did a great job it's not hard right it's just that how you can actually structure your code in a way that is nicely presented. Okay, are there any questions? Um, actually, right for the for the joint account, right? So, uh, when you inherit the bank account, mm. right? When you inherit the stuff from the bank account, then um, when you define the init function, the first three uh, arguments, right? That um, it takes should be will be from the bank account right so like for the name two doesn't mean you have to put it at the end so like you'll be name one balance interest name two no yeah it depends on your super init actually oh, your okay. super init takes in the parameters of your parent class yeah so in this case if the parent class takes in like three parameters yeah. in the order of name balance interest then in your super init must also be name balance interest this one is the one that matters this particular line okay. because eventually uh, like the ones you define here right will be inserted here so like technically i can do like balance name interest that's perfectly fine right this one is in different ordering with the joint account uh parameters but then later on in this part right in this super init later this will be the name this will be the balance and this will be the interest um, then the ordering for line 54, eh, sorry, 55, 
Uh, does it matter? Does it like, like must it follow like name balance interest? Or like you, usually we follow the questions requirements. In this case, there are no requirements, so it's okay. Because later on it will it will affect the way you actually start your account. Lah. So like uh me and my wife joint account. This will actually affect here. So like in this case, I put name one, name two, balance interest, right? So I would, I should follow that ordering lah. So I have Matthias, no one, like say I'll start with zero money and there's like 100% of interest. Okay, you can see in the, this, this you know, auto-complete help that it should follow the ordering of name name, balance, interest. If you change it right, it will mess up your class. Technically, it won't break, but at a certain point, it will break like, because your function implementation is different. Most likely, it will break because of the wrong data type. Okay, so, but then, uh, like, the thing I'm trying to ask is, uh, will, the f will the class try to read it in that same order? So, like, we try to read it in like name, balance, interest. So uh, like if you run this, then you'll like mostly like throw your error cause you're giving like name, name, um, balance, interest, sort of. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the class will actually follow this strictly. The okay. ones that you define in line 55, right? It will be followed strictly. Okay. I think if you work in Java, right, you can actually like define several in it. So like you can define like joint account for several different set of parameters. So like if I want it to be like only like one input, two input, I can define it for multiple different cases. But that's not important. Um, okay, the rest of you, do you have any questions? Okay, if, if there are no questions, then uh, I'll just move on to the last part of this tutorial, which is the vehicles. Now, on the vehicles, right, it's, it's more conceptual. We'll try to organize things up. So I won't be doing any coding. Lah. Okay, can, yeah, all right. So vehicles, so I think just a recap from what, what the prof did in lecture. Uh, this is our current vehicle structure. Right, uh, we have our class vehicle and sports car and lorry inherited from vehicle, tech inherited from both vehicles and cannon, and the bizarre car in inherited from lorry. As um, uh, if you remember, like all the if you inherit from an earlier class, you inherit all the methods and attributes they have. Okay. So now, uh, the first task is actually we try to be more realistic, right? We every vehicle needs some petrol, petrol. Okay, like we don't have Teslas yet. Okay, so we still need fuel. So we have a, we are gonna create a new method to add petrol to the car to add out n liters of petrol into the vehicle, and uh, the petrol will be used to actually move the vehicle around, and for every move the vehicle will use one liter of petrol. Now, now the question is like where should we add our petrol, our add petrol function, and what are the attributes that we need to add and where we need to add it. Okay, so let me know, like from this uh, diagram, right? Uh, what 
where should I add? What are the things that I need to change from this diagram to make my code work? So that I can add petrol. What are the changes that I need to do? Anyone? Just type it in the chat, like, what are the things that we need to do to modify? Seriously, guys, maybe you guys want to try? Yeah. Thanks, Sam. Need to add new attribute to vehicle. So what attribute do we need to add to vehicle? If you guys want to annotate my screen, also annotate. All right. Uh, Matthew says patrol. All right. We'll try to add that. So I'm going to use red. So here, okay, I'll add patrol. All right, anything else? Uh, okay, add a new method. What method do I need to add, add Hadi? What method do I need to add and where should I add it? <laughs> Hold on, uh, okay, sure. Okay, uh, we'll need to edit. Okay, uh, can just edit the move method. Okay, so I'm just gonna give that a mark. Okay, I can just, uh, okay. We can edit the move method, okay? Anything else? How do we add petrol? Huh? We haven't added petrol yet. But then like if the vehicle runs out of petrol, right, okay, we need to define add petrol. But the question is where should we uh, put our method of add petrol in? Should we put it in vehicle, sports car, lorry, pisar car, cannon, or tank? Vehicle, all right. So we're going to add it here. Okay, so I think uh, from here we can learn that. Um, I think you guys know the reason why we added here like, in the vehicle because the reason is simple because um, what we want to do is we every vehicle needs the petrol. So not just a sports car who needs petrol, not lorry, not pisaka, not just tank, not cannon, but everything. So we put it in vehicle and then we kind of need to uh, create the a petrol attribute to actually, you know, this attribute serves as the fuel tank, as the petrol tank of our car. And yeah, of course, like you need to uh, implicitly modify move because uh, each move needs a petrol, right? So this is what you we kind of need to do. We add petrol and modify move. So no, I'm not going to ask. So if you guys can see, this is our modified code where we have we initiate a uh, petrol at zero because most cars are M have zero fuel in the beginning. Perhaps like maybe it's not completely zero. You know, like when you get a new phone, sometimes there's battery already inside. So that's okay. Next is uh, we have add petrol where each Add petrol will add the value of L. And then lastly is uh, move, we, where we actually add this 
uh, if else condition. Okay. All right. Um, now the task two, right, is uh, this is task two. Uh, uh, how about a tank that can survive on solar power that does not need and does not need petrol? Okay. How to design a solar tank? Okay. So this is not just like a tank, but that this is not that we modify the tank, but then we have a new tank that is called the solar tank. Amen. That's nice. Okay, I think, yep. So we have a new object called the solar tank where it has the attributes of a vehicle, a cannon, a tank, but then it doesn't have the petrol feature. How should we do about it? Any ideas? Everyone should contribute an idea here. Just type it in the chat. Remove the petrol attribute. Uh, sure, but then like if you remove the petrol, you cannot really remove a petrol attribute if it's or if it inherits from a vehicle. Don't need to add petrol. Okay, that, that is one possible way to redefine the move. Anything else? Okay. Add something like electricity. Thank you. Okay. So I think um generally speaking, uh okay. I think you guys gave a lot of good ideas here. So realistically speaking, um uh, we should not have uh tank right like if you're a solar tank you should not have a, like a tank like a tank for the petrol so generally what we want to do is, um, like this is one possible implementation okay the one possible implementation is that we want to separate the current petrol vehicle into a super class vehicle and a subclass petrol vehicle so if you guys uh, see here like this is what we want to maybe want to achieve like um, we have a vehicle and then like petrol vehicle, which is a subset of vehicle. And then um, we create a solar tank where it's a subclass of cannon and vehicle. Okay. But I'm not gonna lie, the one who has the idea of like redefining move to remove like the requirement of petrol is a very good idea. So like, um, but like the prop the solution is not perfect lah. What if we have like a solar battle bisarka? So if we have a battle bisarka that uh, runs on solar, right? It means that we kind of need to re-implement some parts first. Like we need to re-implement solar bisarka first, or should we re-implement things? Because remember, like you want to take the features of this. But you don't want the petrol, but then like Pisaka already uh, inherits from the petrol vehicle. So I guess like um, part two of today's tutorial is less on like coding, but more on uh, discussing on the des uh, design issues. Lah. Yes, you can have two subclasses, petrol and so solar. So that would be great. Lah. But then this is the problem uh, when you are designing, which might come during a uh, practical exam. Uh, if every class can be like classified nicely, the world is very beautiful. Every subclass is a subset of its superclass. Every subclass in the same level is distinct. But then 
sometimes there's this thing called like the platypus or uh, there's a lot of animals that you can cannot just like classify easily so like for example like um a platypus got say got ven venoms like the reptiles it lays eggs like a bird and milks like a mammal where do you exactly classify the platypus right it doesn't make sense right so um i guess when you are trying to design an oop program right because oop is like you know programming uh design idea uh you gotta be able to think far and before you start that's why it's very important that before you start coding you actually write on paper because if you start just coding right and then like you go for the wrong direction uh it can get very messy lah, like for example if you need to implement like the solar battle bisarka okay so yeah uh whatever your solution is right whether like what the class proposed you can have two subclass petrol and solar or pinson override at power source or perhaps like for uh, abdul just like redefine the move you gotta need to think far and see what are the requirements of your uh, assignment or program that you need okay so i think like we have around 10 minutes left i think for that 10 minutes left i'm just gonna uh show you the video uh earlier in class and just like i think that's eight minutes long i think it's just like uh a good recap of what we do today and a good recap of the lecture if there are any questions just ask it in the chat first and then like at the end of the video i'll address them okay so um yeah um that's a very good recap like i don't think i can explain it any better than he did on the on the ideas on op and like the benefits of op um the incoming weeks week 10 11 12 13 will be focusing mainly on ops so please uh have a good grasp uh the very final assignment assignment 7 will be fully on op so um try your best okay um some administrative updates uh, midterms grades are out so make sure you check them uh i think that's all <laughs> assignment six is now open please attempt them early i i have heard some not nice things about assignment six so please try to attempt them quite early on okay other than that i think uh yeah that's all okay if uh, are there any questions left i mean mostly today you guys did it on all on your own when, are there any questions yes nicholas Will there be mid uh midterm answer review? Or will uh, there, uh, is is there a deck that will be shared with us to go through the answers? Uh I don't think so. I do not think so. Can, can um, we at least get the answers? Because I'm really curious which question I got wrong. Uh, okay, uh, let me just Let me just ask her. Uh, oh. Um, I mean, I don't think it's gonna be instant, but yeah, I can just ask. Okay, can. Thanks. Then, uh, roughly when will the P results be out? Uh? Do you know? Okay, let me ask that as well. Okay. I mean, for PE1, yeah, I mean, as I said before, like, I think I mentioned it a long ago before, like, if you guys want me to help review your PE1 results, I can help you guys. Um, I don't think I'm allowed to share the grade yet. Oh. But uh, for this particular tutorial, you guys have been uh, performing slightly above average, so I'm not concerned about that. I think for PE, you guys are more or less the same. But for midterms, you guys do perform better than average, I think. 
Okay, midterms, uh, the head TAs are still asking for permission to the profs. Oh, so Aaron, you can see our midterm grades as well. Pardon? Can you see our midterm grades as well? I can only see the ones that are on Luminous. I cannot see the ones that are on Exemplify. So, like, I can only see like, the final number. I don't know which questions you guys got wrong. Oh, okay. Okay, I mean, did you guys do good for PE? I mean, most of you did. I wouldn't say like everyone did. Uh, I mean, like, I think you guys know like how you guys did perform. Actually, right, for me, uh, to be honest, right, you kind of know how you guys perform. La. Like, you guys can tell by yourself. I mean, you guys know like whether your code runs or not. Because like PE, right, it's very straightforward. It's not like methods where you don't really know the answer. For PE, you do know the answer whether you guys actually pass the test cases or not. Okay, if there's no questions left, then uh, thanks for coming for this week's tutorial. Uh, feel free to leave. If not, uh, feel free to stay to ask for further questions.